Hello everyone and welcome back to the blog. Today I'm not going to talk about medicine but I am going to talk about A-level results day and this is because in the UK next week the A-level results will be coming out and the thing with A-level results is that it determines if and where you go to university and one common subject that comes up about A-level results is clearing. I wanted to talk about clearing because it's something that I went through and actually paved the way for me to get to medical school. So here we go. I knew I was going into clearing before I even stepped into the exam room. This was because I had been rejected by six universities before I'd even got to that stage and I hadn't actually got a place for any course before I entered into exam period and this was horrible. I had watched everyone around me get into where they wanted to go. I knew people getting into Oxford and Cambridge and getting into medical and dentistry courses and all I would do is sit there and be like I wish I was you because I've got nowhere at the moment. I knew that come A-level results day I was going to have to go into clearing and it can be a really scary kind of prospect to handle however it's not and I'm so grateful that I had to go through it. So the night before A-level results I made sure that I prepped ready for the next morning. I didn't want to be rushing back home trying to figure out where I was going to apply to and finding all the numbers. So in the coming days before A-level results, I sat down, I looked at all the courses, all the universities that were offering my course, so I wanted to go and study neuroscience, and I wrote down the name of the university, the clearing hotline number, and make sure, if you are going to do this, that it is the clearing hotline number, because a lot of them do use a different number for clearing, and I also noted what grades they wanted, and make sure I had my UCAS ID number ready to go. So the night before A-level results, my desk looked a bit like mission control. <laughs> so I woke up, went to the school, and I remember holding the envelope in my hands, just going, I can't open it, I really can't do this, because I had worked so hard that year to try and bring up the dismal AS grades. And my head of sixth form, who had been kind of keeping an eye out for me because I was quite ill during A-levels, she kind of took me to one side and said, do you want to open them? I was like, uh, no, I don't. <laughs> and she went right come here we kind of stepped outside the room and she said the opposite me she was like open them open them because you need to get this done i remember opening them and kind of feeling a bit of a high and a bit of a mm. so they weren't amazing results they are nowhere with, um, near what you think a medical student would have so i got a b in biology which was my mm, moment because i'd worked so hard over the year to try and get that a I'd actually gotten A's in my A2 exams and my A2 coursework, but the retake of one of my AS exams had only gone from the E to a B, and if I'd only got two marks higher, I would have gotten an A on my entire A2. So that was a bit annoying, but there we go. I then got a C in psychology, which I hope I'd gotten the B in, and then for chemistry, I'd passed by two marks, but I'd passed. And that was, I was just happy. I was like, I don't want to, I didn't want to fail chemistry. I knew I wasn't going to be amazing at it, but you know what, we've done it. So my head of sixth form was like, great, now go, go and call people. And I sat there in the car and I was just like, right, right, let's, let's calm yourself down, let's go and do it. So I ran upstairs. I think I had to wait for nine o'clock actually. So I was twiddling my thumbs a bit. Firstly called Southampton because that was the first one on my list and I called him up hello can I do I want to study neuroscience I don't have the grades but I do have mitigating circumstances and that was a no straight away I said look I, I do have serious mitigating circumstances nope 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 so I was like okay right thank you anyway and put the phone down so we're up to seven rejections from the universities now and uh, as you can tell this really isn't your typical medical student um, A-level results day. So I then called the University of Central Lancashire and it was one above the University of Leicester which I knew like I, was the dream university for me but it had higher requirements for their um, kind of clearing grades so I had to put University of Central Lancashire above them. I ended up calling UCLan and I was like hi my name is Abby and that is my UCAS ID number um, I want to apply for the foundation course in neuroscience and what this basically meant was that the grades were a lot lower but I'd have to do another year on top of the three year degree and the guy went okay what are your, what are your A level results and I said to him are oh, they BCE and I think it was 
CCD they wanted for the foundation course so I was up I was kind of up on one but also down below one so I kind of hoped that it'd equal out anyway the guy went and I remember sitting there just like oh this is terrifying like I just want to know now and the guy came back and he was at like, Abby and I was like yes he was like I've got some good news I'm gonna let you on I just remember screaming I was finally in university I finally had got an acceptance seven rejections later and I just remember turning to my mum being like I got in I got in I'm going I'm going and we celebrated that evening I went out with pizza and my friends and then I got an email through later that day saying oh congratulations on getting onto the three year course in neuroscience and I was like uh, no I didn't get onto the three year course but so I gave him a call and I was like oh I think you've got this wrong um you need to correct this and the woman went away and then came back there was a lot of going away from the phone and coming back that day and she said no it's right we've, we've decided to put you up to the three-year course and I just remember sitting there like what else can happen today and I was just so happy that I'd finally gotten into university for me I just knew I wanted to go that year for me waiting a year retaking any um, exams just wasn't the option for me I knew I needed to get out and be on my own so I moved up to UCLan and I had the most fantastic amazing three years of my entire life the first three weeks were really hard because it was a massive change I was from the south to the north and it was a lot of kind of stress trying to settle back into a routine however I quickly got there I made friends for life I've had opportunities I never would have done if I'd gone straight into medicine I've discovered a love of science outreach I've met some incredible people through science outreach and um, one of them who i keep in touch with in twitter which is really nice i have made lifelong friends for there and not just like my fellow peers like i consider a lot of my lecturers like really lovely um i went to gibraltar i think i've already said it but i went to gibraltar to do science outreach i worked at the lancashire science festival which was my favorite three days of the entire year and i just knew that I needed this. I changed so much in a person before, for like from the age of 18 to the age of 21, and I knew that if I'd gone straight into medicine at 18, I wouldn't have coped. Whereas going in at 21 has been amazing for me. Going into clearing, having to do a degree before medicine isn't the worst thing in the world. Going into clearing, I think just gives you more opportunities and it isn't there for people like me who have not reached their target grades or just not been given any offers before um, going into exams. It's for people who have maybe decided, you know what, yeah I did apply for a, I don't know, an engineering degree before but actually I want to go and do a physics degree and it's there for you people who want to change and there's nothing wrong with changing. I knew going to UCLan would not only get me a neuroscience degree and let me study more about the thing that I absolutely love but get me into medicine and lo and behold two and a half years later I got into Warwick Medical School and I even got into King's College London which only has 18 spaces and the last time I checked 1,800 people were applied and I still don't know how I got in there but we did. <laughs> So that is my clearing story and for you doubters out there, because I know there will be a couple of you, so this is my A2 results for biology and psychology. There we go, oh, there we go. And my A2 chemistry grade, which was an E. There we go guys, I did actually get into medical school with a B, C, E at A level. So, that's pretty much it. That is my clearing story and I would go through it again and again and again to get to where I am today. There's nothing wrong with going the non-traditional route round. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope it hasn't been too waffly and I will see you in my next video.